Okay, I'll give you the right picture. I've never ever had a driving lesson before. My driving license and my eyesight has been checked so we wouldn't go there, yeah? Okay. So, I'll hand over to you and the word picture is I've never had a driving lesson before and I'd like you to teach me today about the controls. Okay, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, yeah. Hello, my name's April. Hello, April. How are I'm you, right? take your lesson today. Well, How are you? you? Very nervous. Don't be. You'll be fine. Thanks. Um, today I'm going to... We're going to do a lesson on the cockpit drill oh, right. and the controls. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to take us to a suitable location. Yep. Um, on the way there, I'm going to be driving, so I'd like you to take no notice um, of everything I'm doing. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, and I'll, yeah. I'll talk you through that. Um, as I said, we get to a suitable location, then I'll give you a brief of, oh, okay. of right. the controls and yeah. everything. Any questions? No, no, no. Okay. No. Um, do you want to put your seat in no, a comfortable right, yeah. position? I'll say you to come to a position. I'm okay. Yeah, like do you need it raised or back or forward? No, no, quite okay. comfortable. Okay. Um, seat belt. Oh yeah. I need to put my seat forward. Just in my mouth. I can see the hole of the back window. Do I talk because I'm going for it, yeah? Okay. Do I talk what I'm doing as I'm going for it, yeah? Okay. Um, I'm just in the mirror. You can see the door handles and 50% sky and 50% ground. Alright. Okay? Right, before we move off, yeah. I'd like you to not touch the pedals, please. Touch oh, or fiddle with anything there, no? oh, right. or the pedals. Oh, right. Because that's for my use, for oh, my okay, benefit right, yeah. when you're driving. Yeah, so you please don't touch them. Yeah, you probably need them because I'm very nervous. Pardon? You, you, you probably need them pedals because I'm very nervous. Well, you'll be fine, but I oh, don't. But please don't touch them, that's okay. for my use only. Go right out of the car park. So, so there's no need to uh, 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 repeat the instructions back to me on this lesson, yeah? Okay. Right, so I'm checking my mirrors, checking around, making sure it's safe before I move uh, on. Okay? Yeah. Right, steering to the right, because we're going to be turning to the right. Tony, pay attention. Oh, me. just waving at my friend. Yeah. Please don't wave to anyone. Thank uh. you. Pay attention to what I'm doing to you, yeah? Yes, boss. You're really bossy, isn't you? Sorry, I don't mean to be. It's what you need to pay attention. Following the road right now. Okay, and I'm steering, following the bend round to the right. So, no, right. not big turns, just a little, say a quarter. We go no. more into steering. Roundabouts, we're going to turn right and then immediately left. Right and then immediately left. Right. So, I'm checking my mirror. My mates don't steer like that, they cross their hands. Um, you can't, it, it is allowed to cross your hands, you are allowed to cross your hands, sorry, but um, I wouldn't recommend it because you have less control of the car. If your hands are crossed and you, um, you stop, say in a pothole, you're going to hit yourself in the face, yeah? You're going to have less control. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, I've never seen them hit themselves in the face. Look, and now I'm going to steer past them part vehicle. The idea is to imagine the steering end, wheel end and left. as um as a clock phase. If you imagine that's twelve at the top, oh. yeah. And now I'm going to steer. Steer to the left. Oh, 
mate's car at a steering, at a steering is really heavy. He wants to be really strong. He's, he's here to make it look so easy. In, the, in this car, it has um, power assisted steering. Have you heard of that before? Like, no, no, never knew. Um, it makes the steering appear like feel lighter. Um, whereas if somebody didn't have um, power assisted steering, you would need more, more steering to make the turn. Oh. Yeah. So it's lighter and it's less steering required. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, drives with his elbow on the wind now. You want two hands on the steering wheel at 10 to 2. Oh, here's a hand on the gear at the same time. You need to be in control of the wheel, yeah? You can put your hand up to change the gear, but you must put it back onto the steering wheel. You need full control of the vehicle, yeah? Round about straight. So you want two hands on my, my position, 10 to 2 or quarter to 3, yeah? Take the next turning to the right, and this will be a super road. So, here's a good opportunity to watch my steering. Now, I'm going to put one hand at 12 and pull the steering wheel down and push right, with yeah. the other hand. Yeah. So, I want you to take notice when I turn, okay? Yes, boss. I know you don't use your handbrake. I could apply it if the pause becomes right. Right, watch my steering now. Pull in, push in, feed in the steering wheel from my hand. Bringing it back. Yeah? Yeah. Right, and then I'm going to steer around this part of the vehicle. I hope you're paying attention to what I'm doing, don't yeah, you? Yeah. I don't drive, so I have never clue. Sorry. No, we're traveling small. We're going to turn left, and this will be a suitable road, yeah? Okay. Right. I've only got two hours. I've only, only got two hours for lunch, yeah? At one hand at 12, full and pushing, yeah? Feed in the steering Look, Tony, feed yeah. in the steering yeah. 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 Thank you. Right, so this is a suitable location. Swap seats, but before you open the door, I need you to check that it's safe. Okay, so we're going to check over your shoulder mm. between the pillar mm. and the headrest. Yeah, making sure if there's any pedestrians coming coming yeah, along or no yeah. bikes, and checking that door mirror, making sure there's no cyclists because if you open your door, they're going to come off their bike. Oh, yeah, and yeah. um, I'm going to meet you around the back of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'll guide you. I'll oh, escort right. you to the yeah. to the driver's <coughs> door. So um, check in that it's safe. Really to check it's safe, Tony. All right, yeah. Is that before the woman's uh, trips over it?
don't touch or fiddle. Don't touch or fiddle with anything, Tony. Please don't start the engine, okay? Stay, stay there. Right, we'll have a bit of a debrief now because the keys didn't mean I'm out of roll. Why did you leave the bloody keys in again? You said leave them in but don't say touch or fiddle. No, I did not say that. I said leaving the keys in is bad enough, but you can cover your backside by saying don't touch your fiddle, eh? That's what I said, don't touch or fiddle. Yeah, but why do you want to leave the keys in? Right, take the keys out, okay. As soon as you, as soon as you turn off the ignition, pull the key out. You've got it, haven't you? Right, give me the key then. <laughs> I need to drop them in there. Okay. Yeah, let's just have a recap on what, we, uh, what we've done so far, yeah? In the test centre car park. Did you find out anything about me at all? Did you? You said you've never had a lesson before, though. Yeah, but did you find out anything about me? Oh, yeah, sugar. I didn't ask you if you've watched somebody drive. Or... Or drove a road driven? to push by it. I could be stealing cars in the last five years, couldn't I? Oh, yeah. I could be the go-kart champion of Great Britain. Eh? Nothing. Yeah, you didn't did, yeah. didn't find anything out about me. Okay. Didn't even find out I ride a push bike, did you? No. Yeah? Nothing. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and then on the way here, I'm having to drag the information out of you. That the steering lo looks looks really light compared to my mate when he's driving here. Yeah? yeah, I should have just said it. Yeah, get in there and get, you know, this information, you should be, vo you should be volunteering, you're not. You hinting at it? No. Yeah, not me giving you lifelines. Um, you should be telling me that you're that you're using to go around the corner. You're using a lot more steering. Ground park cars, you're only using a little bit of steering. The steering is very light because it's power assisted steering. Okay. Um, I'm using the pull and push system. It's not compulsory to use that, but the reason why we advise it instead of crossing your hands is that if you if you're in an accident, the airbag goes off. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. And then. We turned into that road that we went past back there, mm. and I said to you, see up the road, you obviously forgot. Yeah, but not a great big problem, so we got down to this road. What would be a good thing to say? Does it... As soon as we stopped, I, I think I probably waited about 30 seconds before I flung my seatbelt off, yeah? Yeah. How could you have stopped me flinging my seatbelt off? Because I, I, I was only a second away from flinging that door open as well. Um, when you take your seatbelt off, Tony, hold the no. glass, but watch me. Why not tell you this is a suitable road? What's that a clue to? You're going to be taking... Well, you're, you're going to be stopping, aren't you? Yeah. What do you know what we're doing when you stop? What are you talking about? Well, as you're coming in the park of the car, what do you not want your, your pupil sitting in that left-hand seat doing? Flinging the seatbelt off, so don't or take your seatbelt off until we stop. Keep your hands in your lap. Okay, keep your hands uh, in your lap, yeah. Yeah, and don't touch your door, don't touch your seatbelt there. Eh? Okay. It's What's the lesson called? Control. Yeah. Control's lesson, yeah? Yeah. Thinking about the word control, you're... You, you, it's the same as the last time, you're not controlling me. Okay. Yeah? I'm getting away with too much, yeah? And it's... Okay, it was... It was slightly better control than the first time we did it. But it's still not enough control. I got the seatbelt off. I got the door open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you did make me look down the road, yeah? But if it had been a windy day... That door, that door could have blown out of my hand, couldn't it? Yeah. How do I open the door? Oh, yeah. How do I open it? With the arm furthest way. Hmm. None of that, was there? No. Yeah? Yeah, Yeah. as I get my arm in there, and I get my fingers anywhere near this, mm. I'm going to be pulling this. Yeah, no, don't touch that... that... Uh, 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 the door open button until I tell you, yeah? You've got to control it. Okay. Because don't forget... What have I told you? They're going to be like a 17-year-old pimply-faced boy. They're going to be really excited, aren't they? Yeah. And and that's what you're not doing at the moment. That's where, you, that's where your score is dropping down, yeah? Okay. Yeah, your chance to get the six now are after you going out the window, aren't they? So you're now, you're now fighting to hang on to a four, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've, you've got to control this right from the off, yeah? Okay. Agree? Yeah. Yeah? Right, so have you got from there? Okay. Um, I'm going to give you a brief, you're first right. of all. Yeah. Um, go into a little bit more detail with the controls, etc. Okay. 
with the, uh, you know when you're escorting me to the car? Yeah. It's very important to make sure that I don't try and walk out behind, onto the road, which I did try and do there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? And it's also, it would have been very beneficial if you do it. If you left the door on the first latch. So when you check that the doors are shut, you can say that there's a light on. We've got the rattle, yeah. yeah. But, you, but you're losing all that, aren't you? Okay. Go how can I stop you from going in the road? Sorry? What can? How can I stop you from going in the road well, without well, pushing you? Yeah. Um, I want you to meet me at the back of the car and stand on the pavement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. The cockpit drill consists of um, D, H, triple S, M, yep. which stands for doors, handbrake, seat, steering, seat belt, and mirrors. All right. So it's all part of that routine. So first of all, we need to make sure that all our doors are shut. Um, we check the boot, and we check um, the doors on my side, the passenger yep. side. Um, so it's important we need to check that um, your door is shut. So we're gonna. We're going to use our hands, which is furthest away from the door. So in your case, it would be your left hand. All right, yeah. So you'd rattle this part. We use the hand furthest away because if the wind was to blow the door, we've got control to shut it. It's All shorter right. than using the other arm because it would go out further, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. 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 And you would always check your mirror as well if opening the door. No, I, I can't see anything in the mirrors. You can't see anything? Yeah. But it's all rattly. No, it's rattly, so it's open, and you can see a light's on, so that's an indication that the door isn't shut properly. Mm. Um, is that dangerous? Yeah, you can't drive because um, you could fall out. You could lose a passenger if it was. Yeah, actually, actually, passenger uh, door. the actual door wouldn't open because it's on. It, it's on one lock. Well, it's on a double lock. But in an accident, it would affect the structure of the car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you're saying that the out of row a second, you're saying about all oh, your mirrors aren't set up for you to see. How could I say to you about that then? If he's going to open the door? Well, I've got a head that I can turn, haven't I? So you can check over your shoulder. And... Well, I need to check over my shoulder, don't I? Why just check the mirror? I could have somebody off in the blind spot. Yeah, but that's what I mean. You're saying about the mirror, so just say check over the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you want to check over. Your um, right shoulder, Tony, between the oh, the, right. car, the pillar and the head restraint. Oh, right, yes. Um, check in if anybody's coming. Yeah. No, nobody. No. Did. Um, so you can open your door, um, like we said, with the arm furthest away. Oh. Yeah. Pull that and then pull it in. Let go of that bit, Tony. Oh, right. That's it. Yeah. All right. And then that light up here should come off. Well, that was the Mr. Bean movie, isn't it? Yeah, it will go off in a few seconds. Okay. Um, yeah, so um, the door rattling could be an indication. Is there any other, is there any other indication that, that I might get on this car? You could have car. a warning light on the dashboard, yeah. Yeah. or it could make a, a noise, yeah. yeah, alarming you that the, the yeah. door isn't shut properly. Um, and it's the driver's responsibility to make sure that all the doors are closed. Oh, right. Because if it wasn't, the wind could blow and it could open damage your door or you could lose a passenger like I said yeah and um, handbrake being the next check for you right. um, so don't push the button in I just want you to touch the black part and see if it feels oh, that the that's the handbrake right. so don't push the button in don't touch that I want you to touch the black bit and feel that it's it secure nice. does it feel tense secure it's relaxed pull it like this oh, no, sorry. does it feel yeah. resistance there oh yeah yeah, yeah? so that that's on it's secure. The ham the handbrake um doesn't isn't used like the the park the handbrake is also known as the parking brake. Yeah the handbrake on the cockpit drill is not explaining the use of the handbrake, it's explaining as part of the cockpit okay. drill. What what are we gonna be doing on the cockpit drill that that relates to the handbrake? Um if the handbrake isn't on, um and we've got fatties in the car, like a um the car might roll forward or back. Mm. Okay. <laughs> if you need a word fatties out, it won't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can roll forward or back. So it's important to check that that's applied. No, really. Yeah. Um, the seat is the next check oh, right, that we yeah. make. Um, yeah. It's important we adjust the, the base first, the height first. Sorry. There should be a, a lever to your right. 
that will prop you up. Yeah, if you pull it up, it, it props you up. If you no, push right, it down, it? it goes down. Like see older, we it? adjust that first because if we um, adjust our forward back, because it's going to, if we pump it up, sorry, it's going to make us come forward. So we need yeah, to. Yeah, I can see. Just like, yeah, and you need to be able to see. You don't want to be leaning down or looking no. over, yeah? Um, the next part of the seat would be the base. So we need to see how far away we need to be able to access the pedals. Oh. We want, um, if you put your left foot down on the clutch pedal, that's the pedal, the one over to the left. That pedal, the oh. furthest over to it. Put your foot down on that one, please. Oh. Um, you want a slight bend in the knee there. Oh, yeah, that feels right, yeah. That feels okay, yeah? Yeah. Um, oh, no, a bit of a stretch, isn't it? Okay, so you, there should be a lever at the front. Oh yeah. You can, if it helps, you can hold on to the steering wheel. Would it help? Yeah, it will help. So you can put one hand on the steering wheel, yeah, and then adjust it. You want a slight bend in the knee That's with good, the clutch. <laughs> you want a slight bend in the knee. So put your foot yeah, on the clutch pedal. Yeah, how do backwards and forwards? You've got to let go of the lever. I'm going to be sick now. Right. Put your foot on the, the clutch, and then we want a slight bend in the knee. Yes, and it's important that it clicks into place after, because if it was, if it didn't click, we might be driving and it might go back and then we can't access the foot controls. Oh, so that's the danger, yeah. yeah? How's that feel? It feels alright, yeah. Yeah? Um, and how's your seat? You're not, your knees ain't going into the steering wheel or anything? No. Yeah? Okay. And um, the next is the, the, sorry, the next is there should be a knobbly nodule on the on the right of your seat. Oh yeah, I feel it. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that adjusts the, oh, the yeah. back yeah, part I, of your yeah, seat. Yeah, can I wind that back like, like my mates do when they're driving? No, you want to be, me, you, yeah. you want to, if you put your hands on the steering wheel, your wrist. Yeah, but I want to look cool. Well, it's not about cool, you need to be able to drive and access the controls. Really. Oh, I want to drive. If it. you're not in control of the steering and everything else, the controls of the vehicle, yeah, but I have to look cool, you could cause an accident. If you can't steer the car, how are you going to swerve somebody? Yeah, yeah, you could cause an accident. So I won't look cool like my mason. You can still look cool if you're in the right position. Yeah. Okay, you've got sunglasses on, that's cool. Yeah, so you want to put your wrists on top of the steering wheel, please. And you don't want to have to stretch, so your back wants to be straight. So you yeah. need to adjust the rake so your the backrest is... No, turn it away from me or forward. Turn it forward. Yeah. I don't feel cool at all now. Right, stretch your wrist. I feel like a learning driver. Is that better? And then yeah. hold the steering wheel at 10 to 2, so these sides. Yeah, with a slight bend in the elbow, yeah? yeah That's yeah. good, that's the right position. Yeah. And the next um, thing we would adjust is your head restraint. So this, this part behind no, your head, yeah, yeah. this part.